G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. I'm going to be showing you a weapons glitch. This involves basically opening these types of cases. When you lay them down, you can see at an outpost, you have nothing in them. They're used for storing weapons, but I'm going to show you how you can get weapons to spawn in these chests. So stay tuned. I'll also going to be opening over a hundred of these. You can see that I have a uh, hundred of these laid out here. I'm going to open them all up and see, see what sort of results we can get from this and see whether this is actually worth it. So I'm going to be doing that at the, towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for that one, guys. But let's first head off to the place that we need to get the ingredients for this because we do need to lay down a weapon cases. And I will show you these cases, they cost one polymer and two titanium so you can see up the top left hand corner i have plenty of both ingredients but you may not so let's head off to a particular place that you can get this stuff and then i'll show you how to do this game glitch all right guys we are at new atlantis this is where we're going to collect our supplies we've just landed at the spaceport we're going to head down this way if you already have these ingredients you can skip through a few minutes i'm just going to show you how to get these ingredients if you don't titanium is a little bit harder to find than other things uh, polymer for that matter as well we're just heading around to the left here and you can see the jemison's mercantile building we want to head in here and they sell the goods that we need so we just want to see this lady here if you don't hope you're finding everything you need oh please take a look and we want to go to resources and we are going to be looking for as i said some Let's have a look here. So she doesn't have any of the ingredients that we want. So maybe I have purchased them at another time. So what we need to do is we need to reset this vendor. So in order to do that, if you're not already aware of this, appreciate the business. We just need to come back out the door. And there's some benches over there and some seats here. You just want to sit down one of these benches and wait out the full 24 hours which is 50 hours of UT time. And we will pop back up and see what she has. So I'll speed forward to that and I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're just coming out of the wait time and we are going to head back in there and see what she has. Oh, please take a look. All right, back in the resources and we want that polymer. There we go, we got 13 of the polymer here. We're going to take that and we want the titanium. So interestingly enough, she has no titanium. So this can happen uh, with vendors, especially this one. So what you would need to do is basically go back out there, sit down and wait the time period again. And uh, we can go and do that now, but I'm not going to bore you to death with that. So we're going to collect some resources here. Essentially just want to keep going back outside, sitting down for the full 24 hours, coming back, talking to her again and collecting your polymer and titanium. All right, guys, we're gonna head off to the location that we need to go to. We have all the ingredients that we need. So what we wanna do now is travel to a particular system and I'll show you on the map where that is. We're at the Alpha Centauri system at the moment. So you wanna go way over here to the right and we wanna to head to Macedonia and we want to land on this particular planet here I found is one of the easiest, but essentially any of these places, but this one you can place an outpost at any level, which is super important. So this one is the one I'm picking. So we're gonna head there now and I'm gonna show you how to do this game glitch. All right guys, we are at Macedonia and what we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a beacon just near our ship, doesn't really matter where. So we now want to go into the system settings we've just gone past it this one particular here in displays and we want to go down to weapon cases now i'm going to show you why this is important there are three different sizes of weapons cases we're just going to lay out probably what well, we'll just do five of each one and we'll just see and show you why this is an important thing to look at so i don't know why this large one always seems to not want to line up straight all right as you can see we have five so the important thing to do right now is once you have placed your beacon and once you have laid out all your cases what you need to do is do a hard save and then straight after that a quick save so we're going to go ahead and do that now okay we have loaded our quick save so like i said we did a hard save 
we did a quick save and then we've reloaded the quick save basically this all these things need to have in the same order so you can place your beacon lay out your cases do the hard save then do a quick save then reload the quick save basically in that order and as soon as you do that you are going to have weapons in these cases so as you can see the smaller case is going to give you pistols for obvious reasons nothing else fits in it so i'll go to the large case now and show you why large we're going to get larger heavy weapons usually so well, there we go we got a rare heavy there and a rifle so sometimes you're going to get rifles in these bigger cases as well because they do fit inside these bigger cases but if you were after heavy weapons primarily you would just lay out the the larger cases if you're after pistols you would lay out the smaller cases now if you're after just a normal size rifle and no heavy weapons then you would just lay out these medium sized cases so you can see you're getting shotguns and rifles in these so and so forth so as you can see that's as simple as that guys i'm going to go and show you what we get as a result of opening a 100 of these cases i'm also going to test it with a higher level character this particular character is only level 19 and we're going to do a test with a level 60 for the larger opening as well so stay tuned for that guys and we'll see you in a second i just remembered one thing guys before you do go any further if you weren't happy with this result you will need to delete the beacon so we will just delete it now and i'll show you why so as you can see it's all gone everything's gone so we just basically would just re-roll this we would place the beacon down again and then we would then just lay these cases down again so i'll just uh, quickly show you uh, why this is important and we'll just lay down a couple of cases And I'll basically do that uh, save, hard save, and then, a, and then a quick save. And then we're going to reload the quick save and I'll show you why. So hang 10. All right, we've just done the hard save and the quick save. And we've just reloaded the quick save. And you can see it's important because that's the only way you're going to reset this. So if you try and do it any other way, it won't work. Also pointing out that if you are using the polymer and the titanium, Go back to your oldest save that you've made with the titanium polymer don't keep saving over because you're just going to run out of ingredients when you do delete this beacon you do not get those uh, ingredients back so if you want the titanium and polymer to be reused you will need to go back to a previous save and then and do it that way but always delete the beacon i find that the easiest way to do it I've seen some other people deleting buildings i have found that when i've done that or just on the ground for some reason they're not respawning so uh, a building may work but i just find this a lot easier just basically delete the bit this beacon and then relay it everything so i'll just go through it one more time for you guys this is the system that we're at i'll show you where we are on the map so here we go alpha centauri all the way over here so heading right all the way to this side in this kind of section um, and we've got this system here and we're on this world here Messadia 3 and I just picked a place that was you know had some light really it does not important but it is level 75 and I think that is important and your level character may have something to do with it as I said we're going to do a test on the level 19 with 100 cases and we're going to do a small test with a level 60 character as well just to see if there's any major differences now this may get patched so if you are watching this and it has been patched i do apologize but at the time of recording this this works fully so i hope this was helpful guys let's head off to that test and opening a hundred of these cases and see how that goes all right guys we have 100 plus cases here we're going to open them all now and see what we can get remembering that i am a level 19 character you can see there so what we are going to do is going to start on the left here and work our way through all these cases i've reloaded my quick save so remember for this to work you need to start off with an outpost beacon and you need to lay out all your cases do a hard save and then do a quick save then reload that quick save and then you should be having weapons like this so let's go let's start and see how many epics how many legendary weapons we get so there we go is our first epic so that's not too bad for the level that i am keep going 
having these so close together a bit hard to run around them what do we have there nothing okay so far not real good but we do have an amazing selection of different guns here so if you are after a particular weapon this would be a way to do it We're not having much luck when it comes to rare pipe guns, though. Alright, I think we're around the halfway mark almost, so what do we got? Yeah, we're down to the last kind of 50. Not anything exciting yet, so this is a good indication of whether you could be bothered to do this or not. It's not one of the best glitches, I don't think, out there. But there are not many that actually give you guns, so there we go. We've got a rare gun there, so that's uh, just damage against robots. And let's have a look. We're down to our last sort of 40. All right, we got another rare. So rares, that's not too bad, actually. So it gets damage against robots, though. So uh, we got, there we go, another rare. So, okay, again, just a, a few rares. I think I'm suffering from frostbite, groaning away there. All right, last couple of rows. All right, here we go. We got another, oh, we got an epic here. There we go. So our first epic, uh, that's not too bad. So if you were so against aliens and mad thief, a chance that humans drop extra med packs on death. So, yeah. I don't find med packs that bad to find. But still, it's got something that other guns don't have. Working our way down the last couple of rows here. Alright, our last row. Will we get anything decent? Not looking good. Alright, lucky last. Alright, so there you go, guys. All the cases opened. And to be honest, we didn't really find anything that fantastic. You could re-roll this again, obviously. Go back to your previous save where you have all the um, ingredients you need. The titanium and polymer. So do not, you know, just delete your beacon now. So you want to, if you do want to redo this, so you're going to have to uh, rebuild the beacon. So that's it. we basically just be deleting it like this. If you do this, you can see this sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. But I've noticed that the guns sometimes stay on the ground when you do that. This particular time they didn't. You can see they're all gone. So yeah, that's an interesting thing. I, I have tested this a couple of times and for some reason it's one or the other. So it is a bit of a, a really weird glitch. I'm not sure how that one works, but let's now try it with a higher level character. We're going to lay out a few of these, uh, not as many, and we'll just see if the higher level character has a better result. All right, guys, we're going to rerun that reroll with a level 60 character just to see whether this makes any difference. I've just got a small selection here laid out. So far, the weapons seem to be around about the same, to be honest. There doesn't seem to be much difference at all. Uh, no, I guess I guess the damage on some of them is, is actually better. So yeah, it is a little bit better. So I'm thinking that maybe the character level is going to make a difference here. So the world, I'm not sure if it's making much of a difference. No, that didn't change. We had a rare one of those on the last. Same with this one. So right, by doing that quick this little test, I don't think, to be honest, that the character level had much to do with the weapons themselves. We did get quite a few shotguns. There's a couple of rifles, actually. The rifles aren't too bad, so we didn't do too bad, I guess. You can see we've got, yeah, Mag Pulse 173, and then we have another, uh, well, there's slightly different guns. thought they might have been the same. They look very similar, but no, they're not. I think the conclusion of that one, I've, I've just based off what we've just opened, I'm not really sure that we're getting much of a difference maybe a slight amount of difference between level 19 and 60 so anyway that's the conclusion whether you can be bothered to do this or not personally i probably couldn't be bothered to be honest i prefer to have these things spawn during missions and you know on worlds when i'm battling uh, other enemies 
So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, whether you could be bothered to do this, whether this was helpful at all. Uh, just remember though, once you do pick up a particular gun, say you just wanted to pick this one up and you wanted to keep it, uh, you, you wouldn't be able to re-go back to any of your old saves. So just remember that you would be need to collect all those ingredients again. So just bear that in mind. Once you do find one particular weapon, you would have to uh, redo the whole thing again. So guys, once again, please hit that like button if this was helpful in any way. Uh, and please subscribe as well. Thank you very much.